got called stat, yes, and ready to react. This is an emergency. They need me urgently. Patients in the ER, I think that's not too far. The blood pressure very low, but have little info. Patient looks very sick, think reaction's allergic, need to acutely treat problems with the heartbeat. Check it out, check it out, check it out right now. We need some help, and you know how. It's time to get out the drug, time to put in the plug. Before it's too late, we need to resuscitate, because this patient got anaphylactic shock. Flesh, as you see, just stung by a bee, but could have gotten something now in his IV. Look how he's swollen, like a Christmas stolen. Lips, mouth, and pharynx, not sure about his larynx. He's got androedema. He looks like a steamer. His nose is really stuffy. Puff, 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 puffy. His pulse is really bounding. His heart is really pounding. Blood vessel dilated. The vasculature annihilated. Listen to his wheezing. He is also sneezing. Airways are reactive but need to be proactive. Get out the adrenaline. This is epinephrine. Doesn't have an IV but needs it irrespectively. First give it sub Q. No IV, that's the way to do. Try inhaled root or up a snoot. Get a blood pressure cuff. See if epi's enough. Need to resuscitate way before it's too late. Get an intubation tray, need to establish airway, bag with an ambu, oxygen is good for you, put on pulse socks, grab that black box, may need to intubate and prevent and aspirate, even if we can't tube now, even without any loop, may need to do a trach way before it's too late. We're in the ED. It's getting late, you see. Called for an ICU spot. Resuscitated him a lot. Epi is an amazing thing with a nasty sting. But with persistent shock, may need drugs that rock. Think vasopressin. When you be messing? Trying to reverse the shock. Racing now against a clock. Anaphylaxis is a big, big mess. It puts all cures to the test. You see, patients can be refractory to all known therapy. Think of immunology and the serology of this complex state. The syndrome now determines fate. You see, mast cells are really key in the pathophysiology. They activate and then they release the autocoids that make their peace. Yeah, histamine is best known. It kind of now makes the body moan. H, 1, 2, and 3. It's too much biochemistry. Yeah, leukotrienes are part of this goo. Prostaglandins and kinins too. They all create the reaction. But this is only an infraction. Now go send a trip. It helps negotiate this complex maze. This is for later, but if there's instigators. How does this all this stuff fit? Why do we really now give a shit? The disease is really serious. The body becomes quite furious. So you go ask a who's who, like a really big, big guru who really knows their stuff, if this is not really enough. Frank Atkinson is the man. He is at Hopkins land. He can provide a look because now he helped write the book. Yeah, so remember CPR, it hopefully will take you far. Remember A, B, C, and D, because resuscitation now is really key. Airway can be to treacherous. Edema can be to dangerous. Patient can really wheeze a lot, and patient can be in sh -sh shock. You see, epinephrine may do the trick because patients are often very sick. If a shock doesn't readily reverse, you see, patrescin may now fix the curve. If blood pressure is an issue because of messed up tissues, think echocardiography because it may really help you see what's going on in the heart. Think of it now as a start because the patient may be empty and won't see this on MTV.
So check my words on anaphylaxis now, even if you pay your taxes. Obamacare is here if you please, but treat the shock and don't let them see.